So I'm going to be taking the charger plate and a piece of sandpaper and I'm just going to be scuffing it up really good all over and then as soon as I get done getting this all scuffed up I will be taking the charger plate outside and I'm going to give it a couple of coats of this Rust-Oleum um, flat paint in the color black. Now I'm going to move on and I'm going to be cutting my pool noodle. Now I went through and I measured uh, just using a tape measure or a yardstick, whatever you have on hand. And I just measured um, starting at uh, 12 inches and then I went down to 11 inches and then I went down to 10 inches and then I went down to 6 inches. Um, and then I marked my where I'm going to be cutting it. I just marked it with um, a marker so that I know where to cut at. And then using a serrated knife or um, you know anything sharp that you have on hand that you can use to cut it. Um, what I did was I um, cut at an angle for the first one. You will cut at an angle. And then for the second one, you're going to want to cut in a straight line because this is going to have to sit up straight. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut the next one straight so there is the other one and then for the next one since this bottom part is pretty much straight I am going to cut the next one um, on the next mark at an angle so there's that one and then for the next one, same thing. I'm not going to be cutting it at an angle because I need a flat bottom, so I will be cutting it straight across. So there is that one. And then for this tinier one, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it uh, like it is. Now that I have my pull noodle cut down to the lengths that I want, I'm going to be adding uh, some of these tea light uh, candles. So to do that, um, I am going to be taking a marker and then the tea light candle. And all I'm going to do is place the tea light candle in the center where I want it to go. And then I'm going to be taking my marker. And I'm just going to trace around the perimeter of the tea light with my marker here. So we have an outline. And then I'm going to be taking an X-Acto knife and I'm just going to cut out around where I marked that. Uh, just be very careful and don't cut yourself. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be perfect. Just enough to where you can get your tea light to stick down in there. All right, so now there is what it should look like once you get the hole cut out and um, for your tea light. For the next step, I am going to be adding some hot glue. And it's just sort of dripping it down the um, candles so that it looks like melted wax. So all I'm going to do is go around and all I'm doing is just squirting hot glue just willy-nilly all around the edge of my pull noodle here. And this doesn't have to be, you want this to be uh, pretty messy just because when candles melt, you know, they're not... <laughs> they don't usually tend to melt even. So anyway, I'm just going to take some hot glue up here at the top and then I'm just going to kind of let it drip. Drip down. Let me push my glue stick in there. And you will use quite a bit of glue, hot glue. So, um, so yeah, I'm just going to go around and just kind of let it, let my hot glue just kind of drip down how I want it. 
You know, you can make them go longer if you want. It's totally up to you. So now I have all of my hot glue how I want it um, to look on my pull noodle. I'm going to be taking my pull noodles outside and I'm going to be spray painting them with the Rust-Oleum flat paint in black. And a tip that I wanted to show you guys. Um, okay, so <laughs> I just thought of this. Um, they have the solar steak lights that you can get from the Dollar Tree and I have some of them. But the little steak part that comes with them, I just took that out. And then at the bottom of your pull noodle, you know, it has a hole. So I'm just going to stick that steak in that hole. That way um, it will, when I'm painting it, I, I'm going to take it outside. And I have a flower pot outside that's just got dirt in it. There's no flowers or anything. But um, I'm just going to put my steak in the flower pot and spray paint the pool noodle so that way um, I can get the whole entire thing and I don't have to um, you know sit it down or lay it down or anything like that so I think that it's gonna work out really good so anyway I just thought I'd throw that in there it's a little tip in case you know I mean I'm you could probably use a wooden dowel or a stick or something too if you wanted to or um, I don't know anyway I just thought I'd throw that little tip in there. So, so now that my candlesticks are all painted and dried, I think they look so cool. So um, anyway, now that they're ready to go and my charger is all painted and the paint is all dry. And I did only paint the front side because the back side is already black. So, um, and I did give the charger plate two coats of the paint. And I also gave the candlesticks uh, two coats of paint also. So, okay, so now we're going to start assembling our little tray here. So I'm just going to grab the charger plate. And then I'm going to grab my candles, and I'm going to start with the tallest one first. And I'm going to be hot gluing this to the base of the charger plate. And then I will go in with the next um, largest and place this next to it. And then so forth and so on. I will go on to the next largest one and kind of place it next to uh, the one in the middle. And then the next to the largest I'm going to place kind of in front of that tallest one. And then I will be placing the shortest one kind of out here on the side. Now you can arrange these however you want. I want to have a space left over here so that I can add, um, I think I'm going to be putting a skull here. So anyway, I'm going to be adding something here and maybe possibly something around here. So I do want to have a little bit of room. I will be taking a Dollar Tree skull and painting it using the Waverly chalk paint in white, apple barrel paint in black, and apple barrel paint in country gray. I will be using some of these makeup wedges, a foam brush, some paint brushes to apply the paint.
Okay, so I did find some of my um, Waverly chalk paint, and this is the matte finish, but this is in the color Turtle, so it's a little bit of a brown, like a brownish gray color. So I think I'm going to use some of this also to kind of stamp over the skull, and I have to say that these makeup wedges work really well, and you can get these from the Dollar Tree. Here is my skull. I know it's not perfect, but um, I still think he looks kind of creepy, so um, I'm happy with it. So anyway, now that he is done and he is dry, I am going to be hot gluing him to our plate here with our candles. So I'm just going to find the area where I want to put him, and I think I'm probably going to put him kind of like that, sort of catty corner in a way I guess so I am going to be hot gluing him to this plate and um, so I'm going to put quite a bit on there so that he doesn't move and then I'm going to put some up here on the chin area I'm going to place him right there. I'm just going to kind of push him down just a little bit. Um, now I think I'm going to add some of this Spanish moss that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to be um, hot gluing it around um, in these empty spaces right here. And then I've also got some of these um, creepy roses with the eyeballs in the center that I also got from the Dollar Tree that I may use some of those. Um, I also picked up one of these um, Dahlia clips uh, from the Dollar Tree. I think it's really pretty, so I may add that in there. And I also picked up one of these um, picks that you can get from the Dollar Tree. This one has the uh, red carnation on it and the black leaves and a uh, black rose. So I may be using a couple of things off of this too. I'm not sure yet, but we're gonna see as I go along. Also, um, I would be putting a black crow on top of his head, but unfortunately my Dollar Trees do not have black crows right now. So, um, if, as soon as I find one, though, I will be getting that and then adding it to um, my skull here. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding my moss, and all I'm doing is hot gluing it down. I have all my Spanish moss down, and I just hot glued it all the way around, um, even the back, so that um, if you happen to see it from behind, you can still... Um, see the Spanish moss or the um, yeah the Spanish moss. So <clears throat> now that I'm at this point, I am going to go ahead and add some roses.
I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I think that this turned out super duper cute. Um, I think it would look even spookier if you had some, um, like the spider webbing that you can get at the Dollar Tree. But like I said, my Dollar Trees um, just really haven't had anything out just yet. So I didn't have any. But um, I thought I would just show you guys what this looks like. This is on my kitchen counter. And I just put a little bit of the um, creepy cloth that you can get from the Dollar Tree down. And then added the candle set. And then there is also this little um, kitty cat figurine that I purchased. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys how it turned out. I hope that you guys give this a try. I think it is super cool. I just love it. And yeah. So anyway, if you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do, because I would love to have you. Um, I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. I wanted to thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye!